Hey, iRacing Painters, this is just a little video I wanted to make to kind of help visualize and explain some of the things that iRacing is talking about with uh, the new texturing and stuff. Uh, so this is the program Substance Painter, it's a PBR texturing tool. I've used it a little bit on a couple of my paints, primarily the ugly paint scheme. Right here you can see, uh, maybe right here, let's just turn all this on and turn this off. I made a uh, similar t idea with what uh, kind of what they're talking about with the spec maps in Photoshop to do my ugly paint. I made what's called an ID map. It identifies different areas with special colors. You can see it down here. Uh, identifies the pixels with colors and you can apply textures via the color ID as you can see right here. But this isn't exactly what they're doing in iRacing. It's similar. Uh, so I'm going to turn all these off. Uh, so it's similar to that concept um, with creating an ID, but the big thing they, they seem to be talking about is the actual material itself, which is pretty cool. Um, so this is the default steel that you get in Substance Painter. I felt that I think it's a good thing to base this stuff off of just because of what it looks like. But uh, here you can see kind of up close, this is a 4K material by the way. Uh, kind of stressing my poor little laptop right here, but it's a champ. You can see the fine detail in the actual, actual material. And that's one of the things that uh, think we'll be able to adjust. Maybe. I guess we'll kind of see. So you can kind of see how it reflects in the sunlight differently. Um, this isn't exactly the best thing because uh, as you can see I have this. I just have a cube UV'd and I have one large area and then the rest of it's small. This is my iRacing paint tester file. Uh, trying to do substance painting with the eye racing cars and we're we're getting a lot closer with it but uh, this is the highest resolution one so it's nearly 4k as you can see it fits most of this space uh, but what I really want to show you an example of here is what they mean by the roughness and the metallic because those are the big things that we're going to be able to play around with so as you can see right here these are the types of roughness and metallic settings and they have um this is all nickel nonsense it doesn't matter to us uh, what we want to see here is down here so right down here you have metal roughness these are all different in different materials so just take me a minute here oh they're up here sorry uh, probably should have been a little bit more prepared for this but kind of do this on the fly because I saw that uh, they don't have the, at least the fusion uh, paint ready. Uh, I think those are coming up to go, as far as I can tell, at least the cars I've see downloaded the new things for aren't ready yet. But, it's paint, that's all paint, paint roughness, that doesn't matter. Uh, let's see here. Range height, metal roughness. So it's on a 0.4 right now, which 40%, or on the RGB scale of 0 to 255, it's around 110 or so. Um, you just have to do the math in that. I have to do it all the time when I'm switching between programs because this one uses the 0 to 1 scale, and other stuff uses the 0 to 255. and some things don't exactly go the way you think. So if I go drop this all the way, or pump this all the way up to 100, you'll see what happens. It's going to load right here. And anything for us? No, that wasn't the thing. Uh, let's see. Any settings? Where? Oh, am I looking in the wrong spot? Yes, I am. So here we go. Here we 
Here we go. Sorry. This stuff is... I'm, I'm rustier on this program than I should be, to be honest. So here it is. Uh, the roughness is on if I do 100, and let's see what happens. You see it load down here, and it gets super bass. Uh, super matte, I, I mean. Uh, basically no light at all reflecting off of it. Then if you put this to zero, it gets super shiny and glossy. Um, you can ignore some of that detail in there, that's just the material. Uh, but you can also see up close here the, uh, the matteness mixed in with the glossiness. And that's achieved through various masks and things in the substance itself. But for us, it's going to be in that blue or in the green and red uh, stuff, in the green and red. So then you put uh, put the roughness to like a 0.4 or something more reasonable, and it goes back to that. And then, uh, what was it at? 0.25? Yeah. So back to normal. And let's see what happens when the metallic is changed. Where is it at right now? It's all the way at 1. So let's put it all the way to 0 and see what it does when it is at the default 0.25. It doesn't look like it changed very much, at least from that side. And that did that. There we go. You can kind of see how the effect of this is when this slides down more so. See how that's different. It has some metal feel to it, but it's less shiny, I guess, that compared to what this is by default. So if you want chrome, you just do that. It's a zero roughness and a one metallic. Then if you switch them, one roughness and a zero metallic, you get the, the maddest matte you can get. It's like a black hole. And some of the materials, they're going to even be less shiny than this in iRacing because the cars are made out of different things and different parts of the cars even. So some of them have a more metal look and some of them are plastic and carbon fiber. Um, I don't know exactly how they're going to, like what the base material is. I don't know if it'll matter either because <clears throat> this is probably going to be overlaid on top of any of that. So I don't know if any of that's even going to matter anymore. So whatever the car is made out of is the thing that we choose to make all of these settings to be. So that's the biggest thing I wanted to show you guys was what the roughness and metallic can kind of do, because I know a lot of you guys haven't seen that stuff. I think I'm probably one of the few people who even knows what this program is. It's pretty niche in game development. Uh, I mean, not really. It's kind of becoming the main thing. That's why iRacing switched to it. Uh, and PBR is just really awesome. All these settings, like the roughness and metallic, uh, for the different things, like down here, there's, you know, skin, rock, plastic, mud, machinery, glass. Like, technically, we could, depending on the settings, and I can actually, I could probably look at these in them, so we can have, like, a, uh, there's even up here chrome, like, just chrome. There's the settings for actual chrome. Just post those post these numbers for these different materials and we can kind of just go from there. So I hope this video was helpful in kind of visualizing some of these things for you guys. Uh, I think it's going to be pretty awesome. Uh, iRacing definitely went about it a, a lot different than I thought they were going to do. Like really, really cool. Um, really detailed too. Like I can, I'll be able to and make all these circuits going to get, there's going to be some crazy stuff. So yeah, um, uh, see you on the track guys.